Happy Friday, Melrose. Paul Broder back with the weekly COVID-19 statistics. The weekly COVID-19 case data from Melrose published by DPH yesterday on October 21st shows where we are at this week. Our percent positivity rate is at 1.6% and the statewide rate is at 1.83%. These are essentially unchanged from last week. However, our average daily incidence rate per 100,000 is 14.3 and the statewide rate is 18.5. These numbers are slightly lower than last week's, which is a great sign. Now, Melrose continues to show positive data around vaccinations with slight increases in several categories. Our overall vaccination rate remains at 73%. And again, this percentage reflects the fact that residents under 12 are not yet eligible for the vaccine. However, 77% of folks 12 to 15 are in fact vaccinated and 83% of our 16 to 19 year olds are fully vaccinated. Both these groups, again, have seen a slight increase in the number of people fully vaccinated. And the chart that hopefully appears on the screen, I know it's hard to read, will give a uh, vaccination rate broken down by age groups. Now, another brief update on booster shots. The US Food and Drug Administration, or FDA, formally gave its approval on Wednesday to expand the emergency youth authorization to allow for a booster dose of Moderna and Johnson & Johnson vaccines. The FDA also gave emergency use approval to permit medical providers to administer boosters of any vaccine to individuals, regardless of the brand vaccine they originally received. So what that means, if you originally got a Moderna vaccine, as an example, it would be okay to get a Pfizer booster. The good news is it should be easier than ever to get your booster. Now, vaccines and boosters are crucial to getting the pandemic under control. Getting vaccinated greatly reduces the chance of infection, hospitalization, and death. If you have not yet done so, I urge you to get vaccinated and to do the same for family members 12 and older. It is easier, to, easier than ever to get an appointment and there is no charge. There is also additional news on the progress towards a vaccine for kids age five to 11. Several drug companies are continuing their studies and Pfizer has completed studies in children and requested FDA authorization for its use. The Biden administration on Wednesday released details of its plan to get shots administered to the 28 million residents in that age group when the federal government approves a vaccine for that age group. And finally, as we've said from the beginning, please remember that the recommendations of our public health experts have not changed. Wash your hands frequently, Maintain social distancing whenever possible. Wear a mask when indoors or in crowded settings. Stay home when you are sick or have symptoms, and please get tested often. There are a lot of greats happening in Melrose this weekend, such as high school sports, the Window Art Walk, Maeve's 26th Annual Walk and Vigil, just some of the activities going on in the city this weekend, as well as early voting beginning at City Hall tomorrow. So please get outside, have fun, stay safe, and make a plan to vote in the upcoming municipal election. Have a great weekend.